Welcome to F12 MGD News Updates. Greetings and peace, dear people of God. Election fever is here. More news of rot, schemes and deals. Cyber troopers are actively painting beautiful pictures and digging up trash. NGOs and movements for a better Malaysia are going down to the people. The campus leaders gathered at Majudi for a study weekend. Confirmation masses are back. The churches appear to be packed. Discerning times. A time to be more aware, watchful and critical. Promises, sweet talk and stirring speeches you will hear. Hold our leaders responsible for their words and actions. Say enough to the frogs, enough to slogans, enough to lies, enough to 65 years of abuse of power, favoritism, cronyism. Remember the words of Mika, walk humbly, act justly, love tenderly. Do our leaders reflect these qualities? Can the church be involved in politics? As a rakyat, we have a democratic right to choose who governs us. The church plays a part to help the people to vote wisely and make an informed decision. The United States Conference of Catholic Bishops provides these guidelines to parishes what parishes can do, address the moral and human dimensions of public issues, share church teaching on human life, human rights, and justice and peace, apply Catholic values to legislation and public issues, conduct a non-partisan voter registration drive on church property, Distribute unbiased candidate questionnaires covering issues of human life, justice, and peace that have been reviewed and approved by church lawyers. What parishes cannot do? Endorse or oppose candidates for political office? Distribute partisan campaign literature under church auspices? Arrange for groups to work for a candidate for public office. Invite only selected candidates to address your church-sponsored group. Conduct voter registration slanted towards one party. Distribute a biased candidate survey. A thought for the week. He kissed his dad on the forehead. About five seconds after the father passed on, he realized it was the first time he had given him a kiss since he was a little boy. What prevented him? Was it a conditioning? Was it a rule in the family to avoid expressions of love? Never regret for what we had not done which could have been done. Love is expressed. Announcements for this week. One, remember October for the Worldwide Children Eucharist and the Holy Hour, the World Mission Sunday, and the season of creation continues. Two, the 31st Tamil Charismatic Rally will take place at Majuri Hall on the 22nd of October, Saturday at 8.30 a.m. organized by the Diocesan Caris team. The speakers for the day are Father Cyril and Father Ryan. 3. The 9th Seminar Keluarga dan 7th Camp Ana Allah organized by the Bahasa Malaysia Language Council South Johor Vicariate will take place simultaneously at Majuri Centre on the 23rd and 24th of October. 
registration and contact details are available on the poster. For October 24th, a blessed Deepavali to all our Hindu brothers and sisters. May this festival of lights give you the grace and happiness to enkindle besides yours the lives of everyone in your families, communities and in the larger society. 5. November 2nd, All Souls Day. Take time to visit the graves of the departed loved ones. Introduce your children to this practice of remembering the dead, praying for them, visiting the cemetery and learning the impermanence of life, the reality of death and after life. 6. On the 5th of November, the Malacca Johor Diocese Bible Ministry is organizing a program for the Tamil speaking conducted by Father Ryan at uh, Majori from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Cost is 20 ringgit per person and the closing date is 23rd October 2022. Q&Q. &Q. Q asks, how should we vote? Are there any Christian values to rely on? Some principles that we can follow. Look out for sanctity of life. Do they value the sanctity of life? Do they work to protect persons, life, their dignity and rights? Look out for stewardship. Are they open to the cry of the earth? Do they love and preserve the earth? Or are they interested in personal gain and profiteering? Look out for the sanctity of the family. Do they uphold family life and structure? Promote healthy family relationships? Do they legislate laws favoring family life, welfare workers? Look out for protection. Do they protect its citizens from internal and external threat? Provide protection for all without fear or favor? Are they service-minded? Look out for justice. Do they uphold the rule of law? Practice no favoritism or double standards when administering justice. Look out for poor and the underprivileged. Do they hear the cry of the poor and those made poor by the pandemic, made poor by the biased laws and reduced allocations for welfare and health services? Look out for productivity and industriousness. Do they propose policies to help the poor in time of need, encourage them to be independent and productive members of society? Look out for character. Do they display positive character qualities, that is, honesty, integrity, courage, fairness, humility, compassion, etc., etc., and show maturity in arguments and are inclusive of all races and minorities? Look out for righteousness. Do they promote a harmonious nation without fear or favor, with a space to believe, practice and express our faith freely, to discover and respect other faiths? The Apostle Paul tells us in Colossians 3.17 that we should do everything in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God through Him. We vote freely and wisely, vote for truth and justice in your children, vote for a Malaysian Malaysia. Always vote for principle, though you may vote alone, and you may cherish the sweetest reflection that your vote is never lost, said Abraham Lincoln. Exciting days are ahead. Never stop living and never stop praying. May the week be, bring you blessings and grace. Take care. Never forget that He walks with you.